You might be asking yourself, what exactly is Evernote? You may have heard a lot about it. You may have seen it around. You might also be saying, why on earth would I be using this piece of software? And that is exactly what I'm going to be explaining in this first video. Evernote is both a software application that you can install on your computer and a service where Evernote has a server or servers where you can upload pretty much whatever you want. It can be your digital file cabinet, it can be a note taking tool, a daily journal, a task or project management system, or it can be a recipe keeper and a lot more. Evernote integrates with just about everything. It has browser extensions that allow you to save a web page in its entirety in just one click for future reference. It has a dedicated Evernote email address that lets you forward emails, tweets or any other type of content to any of your notebooks. It also runs on many different platforms such as Apple Mac, Microsoft Windows, the web where you can access Evernote through your browser, and on mobile, both Android and iOS can have Evernote running on them including the phones and tablets. So you can see that Evernote runs on most platforms. Evernote also has support for IFTTT which stands for If This Then That which means you can automatically send content from other services such as Gmail or Google Reader to your Evernote account. If nothing else, you could use Evernote to archive your whole digital life. Evernote is both free and paid. The main difference is how much you can store on a monthly basis. The free option allows you to store around about 60 megabyte a month, whereas the plus option allows you to store around one gigabyte a month. The business or premium option, as it's known, is aimed at multiple users with a central admin option so you can set up your own team. So what goes into Evernote? Well, you can add many file types such as text, web pages, PDFs, images and audio. In fact, you can add most file types depending on what package you are using. So I hope that I have answered your questions on why you should be using this excellent application. In the next video, I shall be showing you how to install Evernote onto your PC.